liposomal vitamin C. I use distilled water, so you have some nice clean water. This is just standard distilled water I got at the grocery store. I ordered on Amazon acerola cherry powder. It's organic. It's the um, highest, one of the highest vitamin C fruits that there is, and I don't like using the synthetic um, ascorbic acid, so I like to use this. I tried the camu camu, it's also high in vitamin C, but I didn't like the flavor. Uh, then you want to use your uh, fat to bind the vitamin C, uh, the cherry uh, powder. Uh, so I use sunflower lecithin. Try not to use any corn-based products because you're going to get uh, GMOs with that often. So this is organic sunflower lecithin, and I get that on Amazon as well. Um, so to mix this, you're just going to add two cups of distilled water to a large beaker or to a mason jar and to those two cups of water I'll put my lecithin here we're going to add two tablespoons per cup so for four cups that's four tablespoons I mean sorry for two cups that's four tablespoons so two tablespoons for one cup two tablespoons for the second cup Same thing for the vitamin C powder. We're going to add two cups of distilled water to this mason jar. And then again, we're going to add four tablespoons of the powder, this time acerola cherry powder. Now it's not that important to mix the cherry powder ahead of time, but the Lecithin, you really want to mix that at least two to four hours ahead of time and then let it sit and turn into kind of like a sludge. So what I do is I get my mixer and I mix the lecithin and the distilled water. And you can either let that sit at room temperature, or what I prefer to do is I prefer to put it in the refrigerator, and I actually let it sit to, for four to six hours, so it gets nice and combined. And during that four to six hours, I'll stir it every couple of hours. And as for the cherry powder, this doesn't kind of mix as well, so this is why I like to put it in a mason jar, because in the mason jar, I can put a lid on it, and I can shake it. And that tends to work better for mixing the cherry powder. Okay, I think we're ready to blend our liposomal vitamin C. This is our sunflower lecithin. And this is what our mixed up um, acerola vitamin C powder looks like. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the lecithin. I'm going to add it to the blender. The whole two cups. Okay. Oh, we'll turn it on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Turn it on. And we just want to blend it for a minute. So let's see. I'll do manual. There we go. One minute. After a minute, we're going to add the acerola cherry. Okay, another minute in the blender. Okay, 
So now it's nice and combined. The next step is probably the hardest, not really hard, but the most time consuming. Now we add our mixture. to the ultrasonic cleaner. Turn our cleaner on. And we set our timer for 30 minutes. This is the key part. This is how you get the lecithin to bind to the vitamin C. You have to start the timer and stir for a full 30 minutes. So we'll get started here and then we'll catch up later. Stirring makes sure that all the molecules touch the sides of the ultrasonic cleaner and are combined so that the lecithin molecule combines with the vitamin C molecule. That's how your body absorbs it when the fatty acid covers the vitamin C molecules, you're better able to absorb them. Alright, once the 30 minutes is up, your mixture is ready. Turn this off. It does get warm. Um, that's why I refrigerate before I mix because the ultrasonic cleaner does cause the mixture to heat up a little bit and you don't want it to get hot. So if you start at room temperature, it's gonna get a little warmer than you really want. I just use the same jar that I mixed the vitamin C powder in. And that will, this mixture will fill one of those jars and a smaller jar. This will last me and my husband, so two of us, taking about um, three tablespoons in the morning and three tablespoons in the afternoon. Uh, sometimes we just do the morning. Uh, I do a shot glass and the shot glass contains three tablespoons uh, and that's what I take. And it lasts about a week, a week and a half. So there you go, maple salt vitamin C. Be healthy.